Let's talk about the Zap It electric fly swatter. 400 watts in this, and this works great to go through and get rid of bugs. Comes in a two pack. They both come in the same box. I received this probably about two years ago, and I'm still using it. It's really nice. It does have a double grid with the plastic yellow in the middle. And basically how it works is there is a button here to turn it on. So you turn it on and now you have power to it, but you don't have power to the electric yet. So next you have a light here. So if you turn this on, it turns the light on. You could use it at night, maybe help bring some uh, alluring victims in. You're gonna have a red button there that says working and that means the electric grid is not lit up. So how you do that is there's a yellow button here and it's really easy to hold. I hold it and you see the red button. That means charge is now going through the grid. I can let go and it'll stop. You can also notice the light does dim a bit because most of the charge goes to the grid. Now that you know that, how does it work? Well, it works really well. If you have gnats in your home, perfect. Flies, sure. Fruit flies, get them. <laughs> I've got more fruit flies than anything because they like to uh, invade my house and I will always challenge them winning about 85% of the time. Sometimes they just disappear. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I use it inside and outside. It keeps the fruit flies down inside and outside it helps against bugs. You do have to be careful against some bugs. The bigger they are, the harder they're going to be to take down. If it's like a bumblebee, for example, you're probably not going to be able to kill it with one hit. You might be able to stun it and knock it to the ground. It depends on the bee and how much charge you have and all of that. But most of the time, if you get like um, this thinner bees, you can knock them down with this. But the bumblebees the or the carpenter bees are a little harder to deal with. However, when you do swing, you can always swing at the ground and step on them as well. With this, if you go through and uh, catch them like this and they're like landing on it, they're going to continue to fry and they're probably not going to be able to get off. So if you're swinging in motion, it's going to knock them. But if they land on it, and you fry, sometimes they, I know it sounds gross, but they basically melt to it. And you just hold the button down and they will uh, disappear eventually. So that is how this fly swatter works. It is a little cruel when you think of it that way, but it does the job and keeps the bugs down. A few questions about this. This is a micro USB, so you do need that to charge it. It does come with that cord, so you can go ahead and plug that in and charge it. If you have any problems, you just go to their website. It's zap dash it dot us and you can contact them there and they'll be able to help you out when you do come in contact with a bug it will make a spark and it will make a sound as well basically an electrical sound because it's getting zapped similar to a regular bug zapper that's out in the backyard but not quite as loud I think it's really good to have two because if the battery dies on one, then you could have that charging and be using the other one. Because if you have a problem with bugs and you're trying to stay out in the yard, it's always good to have one ready. I'm Kevin from Helpful Tutorials, and that's my review on the Zap It electric fly swatter. Thank you. Hey everyone, before we wrap up, I just want to let you know, if you're interested in purchasing the product I reviewed today, there's a link in the description box below. Just to be completely transparent with you all, I do earn a small commission for many purchases made through the link, but it doesn't cost you any extra. But using my link will go through and support my work and I generally appreciate that. Your support helps me continue to create more content and provide honest reviews for you. If you'd like to see more product reviews, feel free to visit my Amazon storefront below. Thank you so much for your support and I hope my tutorials continue to be helpful to you.